joining us now are filmmakers Ricardo Carrion and Eddie Diaz. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Now, your story is very interesting. You are two young men who wanted to make mm -hmm. movies, mm -hmm. and everyone said no. You said yes. And yes. you went on your own, and you decided to start making movies. And right now, you're putting together an event that shows one of your films, a short mm -hmm. film called Details, and the uh, work of other young emerging filmmakers. How, how was that process of wanting to make movies all the way to now when you are actually doing work and also showcasing other people's work? Um, it's, it, is a, it is hard work, um, but because it's a passion, um, it makes it all the much easier. Um, you know that at the end you will have something that if it doesn't even reach a large audience, uh, which you always hope it does, uh, you've created something that you care about and that you love. In, in your case, when you wanted to make movies, everyone says you cannot, and the main, the main impediment seems to be money. You guys went to the new digital platforms, Indiegogo, and you put up a campaign, and you got funded. How does it make you feel? Not everyone gets funded. Mm -hmm. It makes it's it's a it's a huge accomplishment. It's a lot of work. A lot of people underestimate how much work goes into crowdfunding. Um, you know, some people think you just make a page and just ask your friends and family for money. No, if you want it to be successful, especially you know, we were working with um, on a budget of ten thousand dollars. We're trying to our goal was ten thousand dollars, and and yes, we went to friends. Yes, we went to family, but we had to create like an entire team just for Indiegogo. To reach out to you know local media and you know uh, beyond just the scope of friends and family to help us reach that goal. Do you think uh, definitely mm -hmm. these digital platforms are changing the way uh, young emerging artists and even established artists uh, within our communities are approaching creating art? Uh, yeah, I, I would say definitely. I mean, mm -hmm. you're seeing larger filmmakers like Spike Lee. Um, going on these platforms to get the funds to build it and you're seeing people who believe in them who know their work um, Can go on them, uh, but also for the ones who are untested who are new and young um, Are also they're willing to take those chances on them in the case of your short film uh, details. What's the story? What is it about? Well, I'll leave Ricardo to um, Ricardo's the writer. The writer. <laughs> the writer. Yes. Uh, it is the story of a uh, young woman uh, who has a chance encounter with a man um, at a bar um, and it is the conversation that they have and how it leads to seeing uh, her history, her life, um, and how it affects this relationship. Where did the story come from? Um, honestly, um, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of uh, hearing people talk about character and emotion. I mean, I watch just a lot of film. Um, and knowing, um, seeing relationships, um, just, I wanted to write something about um, the, the start of a relationship, not knowing where it's going, the uncertainty, um, and everything that comes from that. The, the result was a short film. How long is it? Uh, Eddie? It's 15 minutes, roughly. And so far, what have you done with the, with the film since, since you finished it? Right now, we have uh, begun, even though we, we, we finished post-production uh, a few months ago, and we've been submitting it to film festivals here and there. Uh, but we were also, you know, fine-tuning it little by little. So um, it's, it's all in the details. Yes, yeah, all in the details. All the details. Um, you know, we actually hired a, a visual effects artist to come in and actually, you know, fix up a few visual details. Um, but right now, we were excited about the cast and crew screening that we have coming up um, called Inclusion Cinema. Now, this is going to be on May 18th? Uh, yes, May 18th. It's a Friday. Uh, it's going to be at 7 p.m. From, well, from 7 to 9.30 p.m. Um, at the NYU Cantor Film Center. And how can people obtain more information? Uh, just search uh, Inclusion Cinema on Eventbrite. And you're showcasing the work of other filmmakers there. How many other films are you showing along with yours? Uh, eight other films, so it's nine total. And these, and these are short films and uh, series pilots. Right? You guys chose the films yourselves. Uh, what were some of the criteria you considered in choosing the films that would be featured? We want it, but the, the event is called Inclusion Cinema. So we wanted to have, you know, to showcase that inclusive diversity within the filmmaking community. Uh, so we, were, we wanted women filmmakers. We wanted filmmakers of color. You know, anyone who had, you know, not just that, but also, you know, uh, people with, you know, uh, stories that, you know, are not, that are not mainstream, right? That sometimes may not even be marketable. Um, so new stories, that, uh, keeping things fresh. You know, so diverse viewpoints, if you will. As, as uh, producer, mm -hmm. writer,
filmmakers. Uh, how do you see the, the, the future of filmmaking, especially as new and emerging voices enter, and these new digital platforms make it easier, uh, although it's relative, right? Mm -hmm. so make it different and a little easier for emerging people to get into the business or the art form. Mm -hmm. Well, I see, you know, more, a lot of diversity coming out. Um, I see, you know, more inclusive space for filmmakers to come and tell their stories. I also see, you know, maybe us moving into more of a VR space, too. Uh, I've, seen, I've personally worked with some fil filmmakers that uh, are experimenting with VR, even on YouTube, um, and, and seeing how that can change a story or, or even immerse an audience into, into a story more so than just standard film. Now, I know you guys just finished mm -hmm. uh, details and you're working on the film's uh, showcase, uh, but uh, with you guys, it's friendo y comiendo. I mean, you're starting something new again, so mm -hmm. tell me about your new additional projects. Um, I am current, I just finished a, a short uh, a script that I'm working on, Revisions. It's a long process always, um, and I'm currently working on a feature-length film. Um, it tackles uh, something very important to me and to many people. Um, it tackles uh, kind of the aftermath um, in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria um, from the point of view of somebody who is a second generation New Yorican here um, going back to PR um, to help in their way. Mm -hmm. In terms of production, mm -hmm. uh, anything else you're working on at this moment? Um, yes, I'm actually working on, nothing's in production yet, but I am working in pre -production. on pre-production. In, in pre, yes, in pre-production, I have uh, two web series and, and a short film. Um, they, all, they do, they're very different projects. The short film has to do about a, a taxi driver that encounters um, a woman who is going through clinical depression and needs a little bit of help um, and, and emotional support. Um, and then we have, I'm doing a web series that um, has a lot to do with has a lot to do with diversity in the acting world, right? And making sure that you know we are not just you know having the, the token characters in film, but also being very diverse there. And the other web series is about you know human beings with angelic powers, right? And and how they can come to the rescue sometimes, you know. I mm -hmm. see that uh, you guys have a very strong mm -hmm. work uh, collaboration. How did you guys come across each other and started working together? Uh, yeah, we mm -hmm. both uh, have worked in the nonprofit realm and continue to do so to support our communities. Um, and we just ended up we starting within we started within a, about a month of each other, um, and different sections of the program. But uh, we hit it off, and it led to a professional relationship, and then personal, you know, being friends, and then working together on shared passions, creativity. Besides the details, you have done other projects together as well, correct? Uh, this is our first. Other films, really. or this is right now. This is our first and only film together. Yeah. But we do have, you know, we're planning on working together for the far future. What are your your longer term plans for details? The feature film, the short feet, the short film. Uh, what I would I would like for details, a short film, to be a proof of concept for a feature. Um, and we, we're, we're, right now we're juggling ideas where we can take it. And uh, because the short film is a, a dramatic piece, um, and it's all about this female character called Amelia. So the, the, the feature would definitely be a character piece and really delving into more into the mind of Amelia and what she deals with and the trauma that she deals with. If something stands mm -hmm. out in the last few seconds that we have, if something stands out from the process of making the short film uh, details uh, from inception, from creation to casting, all the way to now when you're going to be showcasing it to cast mm -hmm. and uh, guests, uh, what would it be? Uh, I would say just the hard work uh, involved. Um, on, s on such a smaller uh, production, you wear a lot of hats. Uh, you do things you wouldn't expect to do, um, and you do it as, as a responsibility um, and as a passion. Mm -hmm. Your few words uh, to people out there interested in filmmaking and creating art? Get started. Get started. Don't, don't wait. Don't, you know, just because you don't have the money now, just, you know, start writing a script and start finding people who are also interested, other artists. There you go. Si se puede. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Amigos, this is all for today. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of uh, Open. We'll see you back next week. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Of course. Get all us right. some